you seen the new Digitalox input function, I'm going to show you some of the other cool new features that have been added to the version 3.1 Cycle Analyst firmware. The most visible of these is going to be a new customization field for the main display screen on the Cycle Analyst, so that you can personalize it to suit your interests a little bit better. So right now, the standard default that you're used to seeing on this main screen is toggling between amp hours, kilometers, and temperature if you have a temperature sensor connected up to your motor and you have no ability to display other pieces of information there or to maybe hide information there that you don't necessarily want to see. We've changed that substantially in the version 3.1 firmware. So if you go into the setup menu and set up the preferences, this is all configured in this custom views sub menu. So here we see a preview showing that we're showing at the moment our distance, our amp hours and our temperature. Now we have full control over what items we show here. So kilometers we're familiar with, amp hours is our consumed battery capacity up to that point. You also now have the ability to show your watt hours. If you prefer to look at your battery in terms of watt hours rather than amp hours used, you can have that as your main display, whereas previously you'd have to browse over to the fourth uh, display screen in order to see the watt hours that have been pulled so far. Uh, it also lets you show your average watt hours per kilometer on the trip so far. And this can be really useful while you're riding to get a sense for your overall efficiency and whether that's going to provide sufficient range for your destination. In addition to showing the average watt hours per kilometer, it can also show you your instantaneous watt hours per kilometer. So that is that very instant, if you were to continue using that much power at that speed, what would your mileage efficiency wind up being? And this lets you see instantaneously how changing your pedal effort and or your throttle levels will affect the range that you'll get on a given battery pack. Uh, the temperature readout, if you have a temperature sensor plugged in, you can also choose to have the temperature display only if the temperature is above the threshold that you've set for thermal rollback. So in this way, you won't be bothered by seeing your motor temperature until the motor is hot and then it will show it up actively on the display for you. Uh, number eight here is the ability to show the pedal cadence while you're riding so you can see your RPM on the main screen rather than having to go to the third screen that would show your human watts and human power characteristics. Uh, you can similarly show your human watts and watts if you have a torque sensor on your bicycle. Um, you can also show from the main display your throttle output voltage. So it's quite convenient for people to look at the diagnostic screen in the cycle analyst that shows the input and output throttle voltages while they're riding. But when you're viewing the diagnostic screen, you miss out on a lot of information that's on the main display. So now you can choose to look at your throttle output as a diagnostic piece of information. So the signal that throttle's sending, the throttle signal that the cycle analyst is sending to the motor controller. Um, you can also view the auxiliary input, and so that would be the analog signal if you have a potentiometer. Normally you'd only get an idea for what your limit's at. When you change the value, then it reverts back to the main screen. If you want to see that all the time, you can then have it show up as one of the custom views. Same situation for the digital input if you have the dual button digital locks. Um, this is a very new field that hadn't been requested, but I think will be pretty interesting, especially with the number of people doing mid-drive systems. And this is showing the gear inches of the current pedal transmission. So gear inch is an old term that's the effective wheel size uh, that would dictate how much you'll travel for one turn of the crank. So imagine if you just had a one-to-one -one ratio from the cranks to the wheel, then a 60 inch, 60 gear inch transmission would be the same as turning a 60 inch diameter wheel. So in a mid-drive setup, the gear inches determines the transmission that the motor is driving the bike through. Um, it can also be useful on a normal hub motor system if you have, say, a Da Vinci bike or if you have a bike like this one where there's not a really clear readout of which gear you happen to be in. And uh, this way you'd actually be able to see on the cycle analyst display the current gear inches and infer from that which gear you're in. Uh, the last new custom view is a display of the battery's internal resistance. And this isn't something you'd normally think would be too interesting to see on the main screen, but it actually turns out to be really useful for people running dual batteries in parallel. When you parallel two batteries, their effective resistance decreases in half. But one difficulty with parallel batteries is it's not obvious if one of those two packs becomes disconnected or is accidentally turned off while you're riding, and you end up only depleting one of the batteries in your bank, and you're surprised by the voltage is getting low prematurely. So by displaying the battery's resistance on your main screen, you can see at a glance if you have the effective resistance from one battery or from the two packs in parallel and ensure that your parallel connection is okay. So here, to enable any of these, you obviously just press and hold the button. And so I'll just activate every one of these fields. Okay, so now I'll exit the setup menu. And here we see it. So distance is the first field. Now it's showing the amp hours consumed. Now it's showing the watt hours consumed. 
Now we get a look at our average watt hours per kilometer for the trip. Here's the instant watt hours per kilometer. Since there's no power, it's nothing. Here's the current motor temperature. Uh, here's the pedal cadence if I was turning the pedal cranks. Here's my human power if I had a torque sensor on here while I was pedaling. Here's a throttle output voltage, the CA setting the motor controller. Here is my analog input to 400 watts, my digital input to 30 kilometer an hour limit, the gear inches that I'm riding at, and then it's going to show the battery's internal resistance, 100 milliohms, and then cycle through all those values again. Now some people complained about having a display flash or change at all, and they found that very distracting while riding. So if you're one of those people who doesn't like any changing things on your main screen, you have the simple ability to enable only the one parameter that's of most interest to you. So for instance, I'll go to um, set up preferences and now it shows that a whole bunch of things are active. So say all I care about is my distance, then I'll leave kilometers active, turn off the amp hours, the watt hours. And I'll just confirm that they're all unchecked except for kilometers, great. And so I can exit the setup menu, and now you see that this field no longer toggles at all. Uh, that's also useful, for instance, people actively monitoring motor temperature might only want to show the temperature there. Um, so yeah, we hope that that's a feature that's well appreciated, and that people get to now customize exactly what information they see on their main cycle analysis display screen.